know that even the biggest tech giants can get caught with their digital pants down? A staggering 8.5 million Windows computers crashed, over $10 billion in damages and still counting, and CrowdStrike stock fell over 24% after the outage. Today, we're diving into the wild world of cybersecurity with CrowdStrike. We'll check out what CrowdStrike Falcon is all about, and then we'll uncover the juicy details of what went down on July 19th, 2024. Spoiler alert, it was epic. But don't worry, we'll also figure out what everyone learned from this digital disaster and what your organization can do to stay safe. Stick around to the end if you want to make sure your tech doesn't get blasted by cyber baddies. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. First off, let's chat about CrowdStrike. I, imagine a superhero for your computer, but instead of a cape, it wears digital armor called the Falcon platform. CrowdStrike is like the bouncer at a club, making sure only the good guys get in and the bad guys are shown the door. You know, the ones who steal your data and leave you with nothing but regret and a broken heart. But here's the twist. The Falcon sensor is installed on millions of computers worldwide. It's like that overzealous security guard who never takes a break, always on the lookout for cyber threats. But here's the catch. When things go wrong, it can turn from a hero into a villain faster than you can say system crash. So what makes this Falcon so special? Let's break down some of its superpowers. First, Next Generation Antivirus, NGAV. This isn't your grandma's antivirus that just sits there collecting dust. NGAV uses machine learning and behavioral analytics to detect both known and unknown malware. It's like having a detective on your computer, always sniffing out the bad guys. Second, Endpoint Detection and Response, EDR. EDR is like having a security camera that not only watches, but also calls the cops when something shady happens. It identifies threats before they can cause any damage. Talk about being proactive. Third, manage threat hunting. Meet Falcon Overwatch, the 24-7's threat hunting service that's like having a team of elite ninjas watching your back. They combine human expertise with advanced analytics to catch those sneaky attackers who think they can outsmart the system. Fourth, cloud native architecture. Falcon is cloud native, which means it doesn't need a bulky server sitting in your office like an unwanted house guest. It's fast, scalable, and keeps your data safe with encryption, like a digital vault. Last but not least, Compliance and certifications. CrowdStrike helps organizations meet various compliance requirements like PCI DSS and HIPAA. It's like having a personal trainer for your data, keeping everything in shape and compliant. Now let's fast forward to July 19th, 2024. Picture this, CrowdStrike rolls out a routine content update for their Falcon sensor. Everyone's thinking, actually no one is thinking anything about it, but the ones that may have been thinking anything about it, they were thinking, what could possibly go wrong? Well. Let me tell you, it went spectacularly wrong. The update triggered an invalid page fault. What does that mean you're thinking? It basically means the software tried to access memory it wasn't supposed to, like a toddler reaching for cookies on the top shelf. The result? A staggering 8.5 million Windows computers crashed. Talk about a digital meltdown. It was like a bad episode of Survivor. Only the strongest systems survived. Now you're probably asking, why only Windows computers? And funny enough, at first, a lot of people thought that it's a Microsoft issue. The issue only impacted computers that were running on Windows 10 and 11. Well, it turns out the issue was specific to those versions. They share similar architectures, making them vulnerable to the same flaw. Older Windows versions, along with Macs and Linux systems, were spared. It's like they got a free pass while the rest of the class was in detention by the way, you should totally watch the video I've got on why you should switch to Linux. But wait, don't leave yet. I'm not done. The impact was immediate and let's be honest, a bit chaotic. Here's how different sectors were affected. Airlines. Flights were grounded and passengers were left wondering if they should just start walking to their destinations. I guess I'll just take a leisurely stroll to Hawaii. Banks. Financial institutions had to close their doors leaving customers staring at their empty wallets, wondering where their money went. Hospitals. Medical facilities scrambled to maintain critical services, with some resorting to using good old-fashioned paper and pen. What is this? The Stone Age? Government services. Websites and emergency services were disrupted, causing widespread panic. It was like a scene from a disaster movie, except it was real. And the financial fallout? Let's just say it was staggering, at least $10 billion in damages. That's enough to make even the richest person in the world raise an eyebrow. One could buy a small country with that. If you're wondering what CrowdStrike did after, well, they didn't sit around twiddling their thumbs. They acted quickly, reverting the update within hours. 
but for many affected systems, the damage was already done. Manual fixes were needed, which led to some organizations experiencing prolonged outages. It was like trying to clean up after a tornado with a tiny broom, slow and frustrating. This incident really highlights how critical security software is, especially when it operates at such a fundamental level of the operating system. While this deep integration allows for robust protection, it also means that any issues can have widespread and severe consequences. It's like having a really strong lock on your door, but if the key breaks, you're locked out. Great, now I'm stuck outside with the raccoons. So what can we take away from this incident? Here are a few important lessons. First, thorough testing. Even the most trusted security software can become a liability if not properly tested. It's essential to have rigorous testing protocols in place to catch potential issues before they reach production environments. Think of it as a dress rehearsal before the big show. Nobody wants to trip on stage. Second, deep integration risks. The deep integration of security tools is a double-edged sword. While it offers strong protection, it also means that any flaws can lead to significant problems. Organizations need to balance the benefits of deep integration with the potential risks, like walking a tightrope while juggling flaming torches. Lastly, disaster recovery plans. Having a solid disaster recovery plan is crucial. Organizations should be prepared for security software failures by having backup systems, clear recovery procedures, and regular drills to ensure everyone knows what to do in a crisis. It's like practicing fire drills, better safe than sorry. In a nutshell, CrowdStrike's Falcon is a powerful cybersecurity tool that can be both a hero and a villain. The July 19th incident showed us the importance of thorough testing, understanding deep integration risks, and having solid disaster recovery plans. Remember, even the best security measures can backfire. So keep your tech safe, stay prepared, and here's a little IT humor for you. The oldest computer can be traced back to Adam and Eve. It was an Apple, but with extremely limited memory. Just one bite, and then everything crashed. Thanks for watching and comment about what you think about the CrowdStrike disaster.